Hello guys, welcome back to another Tango video. Make sure you comment and subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Facebook. Link to down in the description. <clears throat> well, for today's video, guys, um, yeah, today's video is um, going to be a little different. I took some rest of the, the inside lineup last night um, after I finished filming. Um, so I finished to, you know, basically, um, but just got line one. The outer line is the only one is now on this table, and the reason because of that, because as I said in yesterday's video, I'm basically uh, giving this table away. So I'm lucky when I will get the table in the autumn, um, short of anything going wrong or anything is like to be getting in the way of it all. Someone will get this table for a very good cheap price, and they can decide what they want to do with it. Not the track, <laughs> but the contents table itself. So for today we're just going to be keeping it chilled. There we go. And we have got the class 43 one in the wire the time being. I'm just going to keep it about this pace because it's safer and I'm moving on some high about <laughs> so I haven't been a little while ago so I'm sure you actually have some fun with her literally just uh, running trains I want to show you a few things first So we got well we got um sorry I should repeat myself but eating sweets do that. Um so we have got my fake grass which is what's gonna be on my popper alley but in small pieces. So I'm gonna find a way to do that. And we got the stuff is gonna be good for um for my railway track, so that stuff it will be going down once we've ballasted it, but again in small sections. And the rest of it will be all this stuff here, which is the gravel and like it's my uh, apologize for the words basically, stone and dust and powder and stuff basically will go with the track. So basically, um, there'll be a lot of free bits of stuff. The cement we have got left outside, outside the front door, is going to be used for slight ballast and things like that in time. Um, got a giant box of the Pendolino train set. But, um, um, obviously I am looking get the getting the Pendolino train set and maybe getting a Eurostar one, but at the moment I'm still working on things. Um, as for this little other gauge mounted combi controller I have got, it's just hasn't been used in a long time, but I'm going to get it sorted, get it cleaned up, and, uh, pardon me, we'll, um, but, um, just, um, been a little bit of a chat video, but not really a chat video, it's basically talking about what we're doing with the table, it's not, I'm not doing the chat video regularly, I'm doing it once a year, um, if that, <laughs> maybe it'll be longer. Um, but basically my new layout, which is this board here, which is in twos, they came in twos, for my birthday, 18th birthday, which was a long time ago. 
Um, so these two circuit boards are what's going to be attached with hinges. Um, they're still a little bit damp on the edges, but that is mostly cold now. But it looks actually pretty dry, if I'm honest. It's still wet down the bottom here. I can still see a bit of wet mark there, and I can see a little bit of wet marks there. But from the top end on this one, it looks kind of dry. Means that the ends on this side are going to be a little bit damper. And there's still a lot more to take off this board. So what I'm going to do this autumn, um, well actually, oh, don't want that falling on me. Uh, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to just get some ideas. Not, I'm going to take them, move this side stuff out of the way. I'm going to have a look at them now, um, but obviously we're not going to do anything today. Just going to have a look and see what we can make a start during the game in the mar March with the train board and we can see what needs to be done um, properly. So I'm going to put the sound cord at the top for you so that way it's not in the way of it. Just looking where I can lay it carefully. Right, I might have to lay it on top of the um, Yeah, I can't do it sideways because the trains are in the way. Let me move those out of the way. Maybe we can get away with it now. And we've got the camcorder in the way, that's kind of sucky. In there. And then that out of the way. I'm basically just going to pop it down like this. <laughs> but look, this is what we're going to do, guys. Um, you can see one of the boards is pretty much dry. It's still not fully dry, but it's getting there. And yes, there's a bit of wood rot, but it's not too bad, really, for something that's nearly... Well, how many years ago was 2013? Hey, Siri. How many years ago was 2013? She's not helpful. <laughs> I need to get closer to the voice thing. It's just giving me a perfect example of how long ago the device used. Hey Siri. How many years ago was 2013? Hey Siri, how many years ago was 2013? It was eight years ago. Wow. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise it was that long ago. So, it last probably been used, this board, eight years ago. Probably. So, yes, it's been a long, long time since I last used this board. And it, you know, it's back to it, hey. It's not actually too bad. I don't know if it's timber wood or... But yeah, so there's a bit of wood rock there. I think... This poor board is a bit... <laughs> heavy used over the years, but... It's going to serve a purpose again for this board. And I do like this board. It gave me a lot of fun memories from the Class 170 running on this. Back in 2013, it was a lovely train. I'll definitely get another class 170. I'm going to try to get one cross country.
So yes, there's going to be a lot of um, work to these boards. I'm not going to bring the other one out right now because one's more than enough for this board because it's four foot long. So, right. Um, I'm just going to show you um, basically where the track's going to sit. Okay, I'm not putting anything down. That would be in March. I was, you know, putting cork down and um, things like that down in March. So, I'm just going to show you where they're going to be. I'm not <laughs> not going to do anything else right now because March is when we'll do a video, a good video on it. I'm going to just have to edit it to, to make it, well, I'm going to do raw videos, I think, during the summer. So, maybe during March to September? Yeah, that'll be alright. So we do basically March to September, doing raw videos. We're not in March yet, but we're getting close. And we're going to do a lot of, um, basically starts on the videos. So basically this is where the tracks are going to be. Um, just here. I can't show too much at the moment, but this is basically the rough estimate of what I drawed out last week. Or a few days ago even. That's basically where the track's going to be. So, yeah. <laughs> All I can say is, it's going to be, it won't be on this side, it'll be on the other side. Um, but yeah, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. But um, I'm going to show you that, say that video for you. Um, once um, I start the progress, which is going to be in March. Me and my mum will be putting a starting point together between us. But my mum, well, that's her, she's, she hasn't got the best health. But um, me and my mum, when, when we can put little bits together, because um, my mum and my granddad actually bought this for me for my birthday when I turned 18, eight years ago. 